Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to do that mirror behind me, the makeup mirror and everything. It's pretty simple but it can be dangerous so I asked a friend of mine to help me doing this. Um, if you do it alone please please be careful or ask to someone to help you. Maybe someone who already knows something of electrical things um, anyway, I try to film every single passage and I will try to be as clear as possible through the description of the process. However, you will find in the description below the uh, description of the process and the list of the objects that we use, both in English and in Italian, plus website where you can look some things. And without further ado, let's go to the video. You will need a U-shaped steel profile. We've got one and cut it in two with the angle grinder, but be very careful or ask to someone in the hardware store to cut it for you. Two fixing brackets, light bulb sockets, the number is up to you, we used 10, one plug, light bulbs, a meter and a sharpie. Brown or blue wire and grey wire, but check in the description because the colors change according to your country. A drill and a hole sew, hot glue gun and spray paint, but this is optional. First thing first, decide the distance between the light bulbs and mark their position with a sharpie. With the drill, make a hole in the center of each circle you've made, so you will have the grip for the next step. The next step is to use the hole sew tip, be sure to use the right size, and perforate where your light bulbs will be. Inside every light bulb socket there is this little fellow. Unscrew the two little screw. Then cut approximately 40 cm of the grey wire, remove 2 cm of the plastic, only the plastic, of one end of the wire, cut a tiny bit of the copper wires that are now exposed and twist them. Do the exact same thing with the brown wire. Then, insert the twisted ends of the grey and the brown wires inside the black part. It should look like that. Do this for all the light bulb sockets that you have. Put them back inside the sockets and tighten them to the steel profile, like so. The wire should be in the back part, obviously and the frontal part should look like this. Wedge in the fixing brackets to the upper edges of your seal profiles and secure them with a bit of hot glue. Decide which one go on the right and the one on the left of the mirror. I paint them with a black spray paint, but this is totally optional. And if you paint them, make sure to close the light bulb's holes. For the next steps, you will need some dowels, screws and electric cable. Remove the paper inside the holes, like this. Position the mirror on the wall. And now into the fun part. Here I try to draw something to make it clear how to connect the wires. Take the bar that will be on the right side of the mirror, put together the five grey wires and secure them with insulating tape. Add to this batch of grey wires a spare grey wire with the same length of the mirror. This wire will be connected to the left bar then cut the excess. Always in the right bar put together the brown wires, add also a brown wire that will be connected to the other bar, 
Secure them with the insulating tape and cut the excess. For every single wire, remove 2 cm of the insulating plastic and twist them all together and cover it completely with insulating tape. Take the grey and brown wires that have to be connected to the left bar, wedge them into a little fissure that we previously made on one side of each bar, so the steel profiles will be perfectly attached to the wall. Make sure the two connecting wires are long enough to pass behind the mirror. On the left bar, put together the grey wires Take the electric cable, remove 20 cm of the cable jacket and tape the blue wire to the batch of grey wires. To this batch connect also the grey wire that is connected to the right bar. As always remove 2 cm of wire insulation and twist them all together and cover it with insulating tape. Now link the brown wires with the brown wire that is coming out from the electric cable plus the brown connector coming from the right bar. Tape and cut. You can remove the yellow green wire, we don't need that. Remove the wire insulation, twist all together and cover it with the tape. Fix the two steel profile to the wall. Position the mirror in the middle. Then open the plug, cut the cable jacket from the end of your electric cable, remove the yellow green wire. Remove 2 cm of the wire insulation in the remaining wires, which means the brown one and the blue one. Twist them separately, insert them into the plug, place your light bulbs and your mirror is ready. Oggi faremo Never Have I Ever 